Phillips kicks to Martin. And the three off target. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And here's James outside. That shot, no good. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. It's Charlotte running away with it. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Happy to have you with us. Let's bring you up to speed on the winners of the Player of the Month Awards. Guys, how about our winner from the Western Conference? There wasn't much doubt about who was winning this one. When you make the kind of impact he did, you got to get some love. Keeps their offense rolling. They're a smooth operation with him running the show. And taking a look now at that first half, what a showing it's been so far for the Hornets. How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by James. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And so in the game for the Magic, we've got Davis. Marcus Saul is out there with O'Neal. Then there's Chauncey Billups, and it's English in at the three spot. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I'd call that slam dunk contest level. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. From deep, Gasol. Hornets with the rebound. James has got six rebounds in the game. Greg, right, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but a great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been Ooh. surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you, you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a, a special bond. And, to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible, and what a blessing. Uh, I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. Four on the shot clock. Gasol, a shot missing, and Charlotte will go the other way with it. Their next game playing at home is the Nets coming to town, and that's the third of four straight played at home. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Here's Davis. Another miss by Orlando. And so Bryant will bring it up for Charlotte. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. It's good from long range. Curry's got five points in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Gasol, a screen on Jordan. And it's Davis missing. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. And it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position, Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Here's O'Neal. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. The drive by James. A shot that time, not on target. O'Neal with the defensive effort. The Magic making a switch here. Rounds checked in. Foul. First team foul. And for the Magic, Fred. And here is Billups. 
He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And he's good on the three ball. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Jordan kicks to James. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got six assists in the game. Orlando's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Brown drives in. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on LeBron James. Personal foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Going inside. And Curry with the stuff. Wow. How about the explosiveness shown by Steph Curry? No soft finish that time. Free me, drive me, dunk me. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Kristaps Przingis is returning to form after his knee surgery. He says making sure it's strong and stable is nonstop work. I'm feeling better, and I have confidence that I can go out there and play freely. His offense has been great. It's the defensive end that he's still getting right. Guys? Well, we know he can be a presence DA, and I think eventually he's going to be what he wants to be. Thank you. Bryant's shot is off. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Brown, good. Wow. I mean, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. It's Curry with the drive. Some changes for Charlotte. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Russell. McGrady comes in for Kobe. And the Prophet subbed in for Stephen Curry. Orlando's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Phillips passes to Abdul Rahim. Here's Gasol. Make it five for Mark 10 Gasol. with him in that bucket. Well, Mark Assist Gasol will never back away Shereen. when he's got that kind of interior position. LeBron kicks to McGrady. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his eighth assist here tonight. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You right. lock in on the moment and play the right way. Now, this guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Here's the profit. And it's Orlando with the rebound. They host the 76ers after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Here's English. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. From deep, James gets it to go from beyond the arc. James has got eight points here in this quarter. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That is his first foul of the game. LaMelo ball, he's checked in for Jordan. Jefferson's checked in for the Magic. Martin comes in for Chauncey Billups. Poked away. On the wing, Tracy McGrady. Knocks down the three ball. McGrady's got his second bucket of the night. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Hornets. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode defensively. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Pass to McGrady. And here is James. Three-pointer. And another three for Charlotte. 12 straight points off of three-pointers. And the D... Seven. Brown with it. He's picked up by James. And it's Brown missing. The Hornets shooting a mind-boggling 79% off the floor. And James with the basket on the assist by McGrady. LeBron's got 11 in the second half. Brown feeling it out a bit. The pass to Gasol. And stolen by James. Here's McGrady. It's hauled in by Brown. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Jefferson dishes to Brown. Looking for Jefferson. He gets it there. Another miss by Orlando. Here's James. And so is Charlotte holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be back with you shortly.
And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Hornets. They've got Magic Johnson. Profit is out there with Clay Thompson. Then there's Nowitzki. And it's James in at the power forward position. Well, he might be picking his spots a little bit more often these days, but LeBron James turning it on on the offensive end. Back to Murray. Jacks up a three. And James pulls it down. James has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Thompson with the bucket. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Martin for three. Not going to go that time. And the Hornets now going the other way. James finds Johnson. Off target with his three. And Murray's got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. You know, Doris, the debate about what makes someone an MVP is always interesting. In your mind, and you're a voter, what are the qualities of an MVP-worthy player? You know, Kevin, one of the things that fascinated me about the most recent MVP selection was some of the slander sent at Nikola Jokic. And I think it had everything to do with him not passing the eye test. And by that, I mean he didn't have eye-popping athleticism. But he was my runaway choice for MVP because he is so highly skilled and he is so valuable to what they do on the offensive end of the floor. He has vision. He has the ability to score the basketball in the paint and outside the paint. He can manipulate defenses because of his high basketball IQ. It was such a fascinating conversation and what a worthy MVP for Nikola Jokic. Murray, no good. The Hornets have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And the three ball is good. Oh, great ball movement there. Oh, Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Murray with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. The Magic again can't hit. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Boy, Nothing you know. going their way. It's just been one of those Into games, the and they need to find Chauncey a way to turn it around Billups. before it gets completely away from them. Chauncey Billups checked in for Jamal Murray. That's tipped. Here's the profit. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. Orlando ball. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. To halt the run, and it's sent back by Nowitzki. And it's out of bounds, last touch by Nowitzki. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Stolen by Allen. One on one here. Here's the profit. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Six points for the profit. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. Martin against Allen. From past the arc. And it's Martin missing. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Through the contact from long range. And he Number almost seven. got the hoop to fall. That's Instead, he'll shoot three at the line. Giannis, he's checked in for the Hornets. Magic substitution. That'll be a five-second five call. Inbound violation. And here's the upcoming schedule Orlando. for Charlotte. On Tuesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Tuesday, they'll host the Toronto Raptors. Oh. 
And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. That one drops for him. And sinking that one, he ends a 14-0 run by Charlotte. Giannis right side. It's stolen by Martin. Here's Abdul Rahim, hands it from downtown. Abdul, Abdul Rahim's got nine points here in the second half. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Good on the triple. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And a lot of attention on onto the Kumpo's offense, but don't sleep on the D. He, he can defend every part of the court and does it with intensity. And Billups, here we go. O'Neal trying to break free. Count it good. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And the Takumbo inside. O'Neal's there. Ante Takumbo can't get it to go. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Kevin Martin on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. Phillips against Nowitzki. Phillips, no good. Here's Charlotte. Two minutes They're on a 17 to seven run. Two minutes. Giannis with it. Phillips picks him up defensively. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Here's Phillips outside for Martin. The basket good off the assist from Phillips. Four, Phillips three. has got four assists in the game. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Allen for three. Left alive by Charlotte. And to Takumbo. Lays it up and banks it in. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. Martin, the pass to Billups. Back to Martin from outside the arc. And again, it's Kevin the magic from deep. Martin. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Hornets. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for LeBron. Well, unselfish basketball. His ability to create for others has been the story of this game. Got a piece of it. And here we go, Thompson heading to the hoop. Charlotte with the new shot clock. Fires the three, connects from three-point range. Convincing lead with very little time remaining, and the fans are pumped. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Phillips with the ball, picked up by Nowitzki. Here's Abdul Rahim, and it's sent back by Nowitzki. Out and out of bounds as the Hornets Shot. gain possession. Basketball. Magic substitution. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. Let's the free fly. Trains the three-pointer. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. But All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long and good night.